chapter 10, lesson 2, is about percentages as fractions and decimals. So, in the last lesson, we learned that percent is over 100. So, which means if it's over 100, it can be written as a fraction. We need to remember that every fraction must be written in its simplified form. Okay, so similarly, since it's a fraction that's over 100, it can also be written as a decimal. So since it's over 100 or divided by 100, that means we just move the decimal two places to the left. So all of these are putting all previous lessons together. So if we look at pages 53 to 54, it says... Okay, so if we look at the first set of questions, it says express each percentage as a fraction in its simplest form. So if we aren't reminded that it has to be in simplest form, we have to remember that it should be in its simplest form. So 94% is 94 over 100. So I know that those are both even, so that means I can divide those by 2. So if I divide by 2, that will be 47 over 50. So I'll make my symbol like that. So that's my divide by 2. So I can't reduce that further, So which means that's already the fractional form of 94% in its simplest form. Moving on to C, it says 75%. So 75%, so over 100 which means I know that both of those can be divided by 25. So if I divide by 25, that will be 3 over 4. So again, it's helpful to show what we're dividing so that if we're checking our work after, we can tell if we got it right or not. Okay, so um, for the first set, the last letter E is 12%. So 12%. Okay, so which means... I know that I can divide this by 4. But again, if it's too hard, we go in small bits. So we know that they're both even. 2 will go into both of them. Then after, you'll see that it's still even. So therefore, another 2 will go into both of them. But being that we're now in grade 5, we should know that 12 and 100 are both divisible by 4. Okay, so that means this is divided by 4. Divided by 4 is 3 over 25. Okay, in B, it says express each as a decimal. So since this is percent, again, that's 38 per cent, so per 100. Which means since I'm dividing by 100, I need to move the decimal place Two places to the left. So that means this will be 0 0.38. Okay, and finally, for percent is 4 over 100, which means moving the decimal place two places to the left, we will get 0 0.04. That concludes lesson 2 of chapter 10. See you in the next lesson.